hi everyone hi i'm abdul wali today i'm going to teach you that how can you make this in 3d uh, columns so let's start from new page a new page first of all you would like to make this object you can see here to make this let's start first of all you would like to take the uh, rectangle command and specify the corner of rectangle then click on dimension and the length of this uh, uh, the length of this uh, uh, rectangle is 6 inches so type 6 press enter and then the way the height of this or the width of this uh, rectangle is uh, 1 feet type 1 feet and press enter now you can see it is down after that uh, take trim command and erase this part uh, press enter now uh, take the line command and start from this point R2 should be on and come down one inch then to right side one inch press enter then da to downside three inches press enter then to right side left side one inches press enter then come down 2 inches press enter after that again come down by 1 inches press enter then come to right side by 1 inch left side press enter then come down by 1 inch press enter then come to right side one inch press enter then come down one inch and press enter again to left side one inch press enter then come down uh, two inches press enter then press enter now you can see it is down so after that here you can see here uh, it is uh, show like uh, you know uh, like hark so we should draw here hark so let's uh, take the hark command three points and specify the first point and midpoint and then it is end point and remove this two lines and erase them also this after that you can see here uh, one another uh, circle is there so let's uh, click on circle circle between two points click on it first point second point then take erase comma we should remove this side sides and press enter after that after that we should make here another here in this another hark so it should be leaves take our command first point specify then second point then third point and again line command and it should be here and press enter after that take erase comma trim command trim and then erase some part of this and also this part should be removed so now uh, I would like to uh, take the uh, fillet command fillet take the fillet command and click on radius here and type 0 0.15 should be the radius and press enter now come here this should be all should be around 
this corner should be rounded okay again press enter and take the command now you can see it is rounded again the command sorry trim command control Z fill it reconnect again here the radius should be uh, small so uh, the radius should be less 0 0.0 0 0.0 1 press enter now select this line and this line again fill it now it is you can see around it after that again take the fillet command and click on radius and type 0 0.15 press enter and click on this corner this one as well again fillet now you can see it is all rounded so after that uh, you would like to uh, join uh, all of these lines so select all and type join and press enter and now you can see it is join again select them and type join now you can see it is completely joined so after that uh, you would like to click on this corner in this corner to see the 3d view of this and then come to this uh, setting option workspace switching and click here on 3d modeling to change this menu so after that you would like to select this uh, A 3d rotate let's click here and select this object and press enter now select this uh, direction and rotate it r2 should be on rotate like by 90 degree and press enter now you can see it is steady so after that uh, let's uh, click on this top view in this corner and come here uh, to visualize menu and click on this uh, the coordinates and coordinates select the print so after that click on this top here now draw here a line go to home menu and take the line command and type specify this is your past color and come down let's uh, 6 feet uh, or 7 feet 8 feet you can give it is depends on you so uh, let's set should be uh, 6 feet 7 feet press enter again enter press and let's move them upward so after that again you should click here on this color control z no you should pass uh, before to click here you should uh, change your view here to select the coordinate word select word then after that uh, come here and select on this corner now you can see here so come to home menu and select here in the revolve or simply type uh, re r e v and click on revolve command and click on this select the object and press enter and then specify the revolve axis so simply first point and this is the second point 
and then type here in the start angle it should be 360 type 360 press enter again press enter to finish the command now you can see it is drawn so let's click on this front view after that uh, come to the mirror command take the mirror command and modi modify menu here mirror or simply type mirror and press enter select the object again press enter or right click then specify this middle this line uh, middle point should be your uh, should be your uh, mirror so let's uh, finish the command finish the command once you should be in visualize and come here and it should be in front view after that uh, take the mirror command mirror you can see here select the object press enter and now specify this midpoint as your mirror past point and then R2 should be on and click simply here this is your second so if you want to remove the we should not remove this so simply click on no now you can see this two columns so after that uh, come to home menu and come here to layers and create some layers click on this layer properties and simply click here to create the layers layer 1 2 3 simply close it after that uh, include this to to layer 1 let's come here let's it should be my layer 1 and after that um, this is these are layer 1 deselect all and come here and uh, unvisible the layer 1 and off the uh, layer 1 so simply click on it now it is unvisible so after that again come to visualize and it's the uh, change the view of this so it should be the coordinate should be word so let's click on this corner so after that zoom your this line and take the circle command specify this is the center of your circle it is a center a radius it must be center radius circle so you can see here now i would like to finish this you can see here center radius click on simply on it and then specify the center of your radius and then so the 2.5 I would like to give 2.5 inches radius uh, because um, no 2.5 uh, because the to be yes, 2.5 I should give 2.8 let's 2.8 uh, is the radius of this circle you can see after that take another radius another uh, circle here so simply click here the radius should be let's one inch press enter now you can see it let's say it should be half inch radius it should be 0 0.5 inches inch 0 0.5 inch and press enter now you can see it after that again another circle make and specify this is your corner center and then type 0 0.25 half of that 0 0.25 press enter now it is also down after that take hare command simply click on this hare and full puller hare simply click on it now once we select the object let's this is our object press enter and they specify the center of the array this is our center now you can see there 
down so let's click on these items so let's it should be a 10 press enter or it should be let's click on our items here and it should be 12 increase it now you can see uh, let's it should be 15 again increase it 15 now you can see here and uh, let's set should be 12 that is ok type 12 and press enter so after that uh, uh, press the space to finish the command and now come here to uh, sweep this sweep before to uh, check uh, come here this uh, take the sweep command and uh, let's uh, remove this uh, circle remove this one it is and after that and uh, take sweep command here and select this object uh, press enter right click once you should uh, ungroup this so let's explode it explode click on this explode you can see now that is exploded so now take the uh, sweep command here and select all of them and the line this line vertical line should not be selected so simply press the shift and click on it to unselect it so after that press enter or right click now click here at this and twist and, the, and then type the angle the angle of twist uh, should be uh, 360 leads 360 press enter now select the path the sweep uh, the twist the sweep path so uh, this line should be the sweep path so simply click on it now you can see it is drawn and simply select them and group them you can see and simply group it now come here and to visualize and change the view of visualize menu and change the view of this so now you can see this is the your beam this is your column sorry and shade it you can see this views it is little bit space between this because the circles were over not combined to each other so let's say it should be combined if you want to do combine them you can easily come here click you can see here the items are 12 so uh, let's say it should be 15 type 15 and press enter now you can see it is uh, so let's say it should be 14 type 14 press enter now it is uh, almost combined to each other so close this one and again explode them explode click on explode and then come to home menu and sweep click on sweep and then select all of the line should not be select press enter and then twist click twist degree should be 360 and then type the path this line should be the path and simply click on this line now you can see it is swept and come to visualize and click here in conceptual any type you can see here so after that uh, let's click here uh, on this realistic so view the front view of this and then come to the layers come here to home menu and on the visible your this layer one so now you can see this is your layer this is your column 
down so if you want to view this 3d view of this column you can see here click simply here and you can see this is your column if you want to head the materials here you can head simply uh, come to visualize and add them this click on this materials Now select this material, which material you want, so simply click on it. So let's click on this. Add this material, if you want this material, so you can see here, this material is headed. So if you want to give to material here, you can give to the uh, column as well and simply click on print view. Now you can see this is your column front view thank you for watching and please subscribe my channel for next this short talk tutorial thank you for watching